right, so new Star Trek means new Star Trek insignia. And that means I have to adjust my insignia display. In order to be uh, symmetrical about it, I decided to wait until after the Discovery insignia came out. And I figured adding the Star Trek Beyond insignia, which, believe it or not, is actually different than the other recent Kelvinverse films insignia, uh, put them together at the same time keeps it symmetrical. So yeah, I got the new Discovery insignia from QMX. Put it on some blue fabric. I got the Beyond insignia also QMX. Put it on some gold fabric. Put it in a couple of shadow boxes and uh, update the display. But uh, before I do that I figured I would show everybody what I did before. I don't consider myself a crafty person yet I did do this. Let me start with the easiest one. This is the DS9 Star Trek First Contact era com badge QMX insignia. Shadow box, just like all the others from Michaels, cost about six or seven dollars. This was the easiest to make, magnetic backing. And, uh, like I said, doing, making this was the easiest one. You open it up, pull the little tab there, and it comes out of the glass box. The backing of these shadow boxes is plain black, which goes with the uh, DS9 First Contact uniform change. The insignia sits on a black background on their uniform, which is what I wanted. So this will require the least amount of effort. Magnetic backing, it, the magnetic uh, support does work through the, the particle board, so that is not a concern. And like I said, it's uh, just that easy to put it together. If that's the only one you do, you too may be a crafty person. There. That was the easiest one to do. All right, let's go chronologically. Backward, here is uh, the Next Generation era. Again, Michael's shadow box. It seems that the insignia got uh, cockeyed as I took it off the wall for this video. Now this one had, does have fabric in it. I'm trying to remember the specific names I used for all of these. Or the names I got from uh, Joann's Fabrics. Most of them I got from Joann's. I'm going to recenter that a little bit. You'll find that what looks good outside of the shadow box may not look correct inside the shadow box, but that looks straightened to me. This was, I believe, called Wine. Let you get up close on the uh, detail of the fabric. I'll go ahead and put it back in. Try and smooth it out as much as possible. Don't close it up all the way. Just do that and then make sure there's no wrinkles. Make sure the, insect, the insignia looks uh, centered enough on the inside and then you can go ahead and close it up the rest of the way. Going backward again. Original series movie era insignia. This pin I've had for 20 odd years. Most of the ones you buy online now do not look like this. They are not movie accurate. They are very shiny. They don't have the painted on wings, if you will, of the insignia in the background. This fabric is a kind of felt. It was called uh, either maroon or burgundy, I believe. There is a slight bulge in the fabric, but frankly, I didn't notice it until just now, so I'm not going to try and adjust it. Anyway, that's the movie era insignia. The motion picture. I almost didn't include this one because, again, I, but I did want symmetry, so I did go ahead and make it just plain white fabric, nothing special about it. 
I did get to go for the Admiral look, since I did like uh, Kirk's uniform in the motion picture so much. Admiral Kirk, that is. White with the pin, not the patch. I almost went with the patch, but I decided for the pin. This was not a magnetic backing, so I actually did have to kind of pound the pin through the back. You see the two pin points coming through. Thanks to the thickness of the particle board, it, uh, it stays in place. You just kind of have to be sure of where you're placing it. That's the motion picture. Let's see, original series command. Got the patch from uh, Roddenberry.com. The fabric is, uh, I believe it was called gold. It is a felt. I know in the show itself, the uniform, the command uniforms were actually a kind of lime so that they would appear gold on film. But I went with uh, what looks best to my eyes in my den. So gold felt it is. Hot glue gun. No pen, hot glue for the patch. That's all that was required. And uh, chronologically again, let's go back to Enterprise. Uh, this was a, uh, as you can see, a kind of navy blue sort of, royal blue perhaps, fabric. Like Enterprise patch from Roddenberry.com, hot glued onto the back. Pretty simple. When I chose my uh, the fabric for Discovery, I did want a different fabric. Now, I know when they made Discovery, they went to Europe to get the fabric for the uniform. I'm not doing that, of course. But I did want it to look different from Enterprise. And that's the Enterprise one. I do have a display of Kelvinverse insignia. Here's the command logo. Uh, the command insignia. It is a silver insignia, silver pen. You can see the uh, fabric in the background does have the detail insignia all over it, just like they did in the first two Calvinverse films, 2009's Star Trek and Star Trek Into Darkness. How did I get that? I'll explain in a moment. But anyway, that's the uh, insignia. S completely silver, note. I also have Sciences, again with the Science Blue uniform fabric on the back. And I have Operations Red, Engineering Insignia, Red fabric on the back. Now, how did I get this? Kids Halloween Costumes found some websites that sold kids Halloween costumes and this was in spring so they were very heavily discounted and the kids Halloween costume shirts were made from this fabric and since that's what they use in the movie basically I just cut uh, some squares from it so I still have a few squares left of the engineering and security red command Yellow, Sciences and Medical Blue. Speaking of medical, there was a fourth insignia from the recent Kelvinverse films, Medical. I used the same white fabric from the motion picture uh, display. The Medical insignia, there is red inside the cross. That is how it was in the movie. Uh, Star Trek Into Darkness, you'll note uh, near the end when Dr. McCoy is over Kirk's bed, the insignia does visibly have red behind the red cross. I merely took a, a small cut from some excess fabric from the uh, Next Generation display I showed earlier. That's the same red. I believe it was called Wine. And just kind of got the, the insignia in place. Took a small uh, screwdriver and kind of lightly pushed it underneath the badge and then press the pin the rest of the way down into the part of the board. Like the others, these are were pushed through the board. Does not damage the wall because the pin points do not come through the back far enough to do that. 
the uh, they hang on the wall with this bracket here. The pinpoints do not damage the wall. So that's the Kelvinverse logos, insignias. The Beyond insignia is different. Let me show you why. Go ahead and open it. Silver on the outside, kind of bronze or gold on the inside. Plus, if you recall in Beyond, they were not wearing the stylized insignia fabric. So, let's go ahead and make a uh, couple more shadow boxes for the display, shall we? Alright, the uniforms in Star Trek Beyond were not the stylized fabric from before. They were a kind of double-knit uh, material. That's was not easy to find. So I stopped looking for it and instead went with uh, this. This is a single knit. I believe the color was called honey. So I chose uh, some honey fabric. This will work for the Star Trek Beyond display. I've already opened up the shadow box. Just remove the picture of the puppies and kittens. Here's where it gets uh, crafty. Open the fabric. I just bought uh, 12 inches. That's all I needed. And it only cost a few bucks. Got the display. Just kind of would like to put it so it's not on the crease, but if you place it tightly within the shadow box, it may not be an issue. Also, make sure your fabric does not have a, a different texture on the back. And yeah, while I'm thinking about it, make sure you're okay with the darkness of it. You can kind of see some of the black through the that fabric. Do I want two layers or just the one? Hmm. I'll go with one for now. Anyway, place the back on the fabric like that. Pencil. And then just sort of trace a generous line around the fabric. You'll see why generous in a few. And then it's cutting time. Okay, now put the fabric on the backing. If you see that there's a grain to the fabric, if you will, you may want to kind of tilt it. There are some wrinkles, but I'm hoping they'll smooth out as I continue. Let's go ahead and try to put the uh, insignia on. Oh, that's a loose fit. It's very loose. Much looser than the next generation or the DS9 insignia. Okay, but it, it's staying, so we'll go with it. You 
take it by the tab. And you can kind of smooth it as you can on top. Make sure you got the uh, hanging bracket in the right place. And then try to, as best you can, put it in place. All right, now you see what happened. Yep, the insignia was uh, so loose it slid, plus the fabric puffed a bit. All right, let's see if we can make the insignia move on its own. Hey, we can. It's almost magical. All right, that's okay, but what about the fabric? That can be more difficult. Kind of... Yeah, fix that later. Take the fabric the backing kind of eh. man clean your fabric Looks better. Much better. Okay. Now to get the magnet backing. Let's see if I can move it. All right. The magnet on this one is much weaker than the next generation and uh, DS9 first contact one, so I think I'm going to have to hot glue of that in place. Got to find the hot glue gun now. All right, found the hot glue gun. Oh yeah, it's got to warm up first. All right. Got some glue on the dog's face. Let's squeeze some on the cat. Yep. It's hot. That'll do. Now here's the fabric. Okay. All right, I'm not happy about this. The good news about doing it this way is if you're off by a hair, you can just tug the fabric in one way or another. It's also part of the reason why you want to cut it generously along the edges. Makes it easier to adjust the fabric a little bit if there's a slight wrinkle or a slight bulge. I wonder how long I should hold this. Alright, let's give it a shot. Slight tugs on the fabric. Reach underneath and grab it by the little uh, bracket thingy. And... Let's 
see if this will work. Okay, not bad. A little crooked, but again, that could just be a simple uh, fabric adjustment. And it was a wrinkle as well. Okay. Again. Magnetic backing for all the good it'll do. see if uh, the wrinkle smooths out by being in the shadow box. Some of the other ones did have wrinkles but they've sort of smoothed that on their own after time. If it doesn't I can flatten the fabric and try again with a different piece some other time. All right, if you encounter a problem opening the back of the shadow box I highly recommend a uh, set of small screwdrivers like these. These come in so handy you would not even believe it. But uh, these ones from Michaels do have little screws in the back and you can loosen them with a quick turn. You don't need no pins. Don't need no kittens and dog. Okay. Backing. So that was uh, the Beyond fabric was single knit honey. This is called Royal Pont, P-O-N-T-E. I have no idea if that's how you say it, and I'm not certain that I care. Okay. Both sides kind of look the same to me. And there's no real wrinkles to speak of in that area. So I think I'm good. All right, pencil. And I'm going to be an extra generous this time. I can't see the pencil to save my life. Okay. Um, in this case, you'll just need to kind of hold this down and cut as well around it as you can. And that's some of the sloppiest uh, cutting I've done since kindergarten. Maybe since the last time I wrapped Christmas presents. All right. I've got some. Junk on the fabric. Stop texting me. Alright, let's see if the magnet of the Discovery Badge is as weak as the Beyond Badge. Alright. Powerful magnetic clasp. Let's see. I did open it. Certainly heavy. Hmm. There's something on the part there. Okay. All right. I like it. Let's move the backing. All right, well, those are definitely larger. Uh-oh. Damn it. Okay, so the magnets are recessed inside 
the insignia. It's kind of hard to see two-dimensionally. Makes perfect sense if you're putting on a shirt or a costume or something, but if you're trying to be crafty, like me, that's, uh, that's not good. Let's give it a shot. It's apparently close, strong enough for it to reach, even though it's somewhat recessed. Let's see if it slides. Wow. It's close. I think it would probably slide if I uh, jostled it too much. Alright, there's some wrinkles. But I have all this excess. So I'm going to release my grip on the back. Tug on the fabric a little bit. Let's see the Wrinkles go away. Alright. Looks pretty good to me. Kind of like the sheen that that fabric has as well. Alright, so I went to the store. Got some uh, neodymium magnets crazy crazy strong magnets and uh, they are a little bit better through the particle board of the backing than the uh, the ones that came with the Beyond Insignia they are larger than the ones that were on the Insignia and uh, seems to be holding up okay Okay, all the Kelvin verse insignia are back in place. Now it's time for the uh, the other ones, the main ones. Yes, I would say the prime universe insignia, but of course I am putting Beyond on display. Beyond is uh, in the Kelvin verse, but I did not want an asymmetrical display, so. I may wait for the next TV show. I may get an insignia from, uh, you know, the the future Starfleet from Voyager or something like that. But for now, I'll put Beyond with the others. There's Discovery. Virtual Series Beyond, Motion Picture, Next Generation, DS9, First Contact. There were six on the wall, now there are eight. I left uh, this space open so you could see what I did. This is where the DS9 First Contact insignia had been hanging. I removed that nail and moved it up six inches so that the shadow box that's going to go here will cover the hole but so I could move all of them up and have room for eight instead of six so I'm gonna go ahead and hang the uh, movie insignia and I'll straighten it later anyway covers the hole and it's all done. If you have some fabric poking out of the sides, I did on the Discovery one. There's a little bit here on the Beyond one. Just use a long skinny screwdriver, maybe a chopstick, something like that. And then just kind of tuck the fabric back and out of sight. Pretty easy. You can be a crafty Star Trek fan too, I guess. Thanks for watching.